All right, well, we're at the point in this string process where I can start putting my cam servings on. I just did the center serving. I did that by hand on the jig behind me. I moved the string over to my super server, which is what I do all the cam servings with. It's a lot quicker. Um, so basically, I start this by hand and then start the exact same way I just did with the uh, center serving. Trying to keep my hands out of the way of the camera. I'm going over top of that tag a bunch of times. I'm going to pull it tight with my pliers just under the breaking point of uh, the string here. So I get it good and tight. I'm trying to stay out of your way, cameraman. wrap over top of that tag that I'm holding with my pliers. I'm going to do it a little bit over an inch. That way it buries underneath there real tight and won't ever come out. I'm going to cut that flush so I can bury it. Make that tag go away. Okay. And then I'm just going to start my super server. It's going to twist the string. That way I can just hold the jig and let it peel off serving off the jig spool. And the string is turning at about 600 RPMs. This is an older model. They make a lot quicker ones now, but it's on my wish list. Basically what this allows me to do is not have to spin the serving jig around the string literally a thousand times. And it's much more consistent than I could ever get it by hand. I'm using the, the serving I'm using here is a bull whip. It's made by Brownell. I found that suit my needs the best. I've been putting those on strings for quite a while and uh, it's taken separation out of the equation and just goes on real nice and it's easy to work with. So, so far that's what I found is my favorite. So we're almost to the end here. So what I'll do at the end is I'll stop my machine when I get close. So basically it's stopped there and what I need to do now is figure out how to tie this off. The way I tie this off, there's not enough room to do a whip stitch in there so I use this little loop and I put this over, the, over my uh, post here. Doing this off handed for the sake of the camera so it's a little bit awkward. Then I go over top of my loop. Once that's in there, I'm going to decrease the pressure here that I got on my cylinder. Just about 50 to 80 pounds. And I'm just going to finish a few wraps of this by hand. Pulling it tight, making sure it's snug. This is a really important part. Kind of the length of shortest link in the chain, or the weakest link in the chain type of deal. Clip those off. I'll come up through the bottom. And hold that right there. Take my pick. Pull my little lasso, my loop out. Switch hands, pull with my pliers. Pull that through, and that way it goes right underneath where I wrapped before. Cinch that bad boy up. Burn that, flatten it out, and then that's the cam serving. Got one more to do on the other end. 
and then this string will be done. Now just because the string's done, that doesn't mean my cables and stuff are done. I've got to serve them also, but that'll give you a good idea how these things are made. Thanks for watching our How to Make a Bowstring video series. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for other great videos just like these.